everyone, this is Calvin Professor C here. So due to the coronavirus or COVID-19, I am now working at home. So as you can see, my setup is a little bit different than what I used to have. But anyway, I am still going to deliver important information to you. Especially nowadays, there are so many uh, emergency help program from the bank, from the government and all sorts of things. So although it's not 100% mortgage related, I think a lot of your client right now would want to know about it. So today I am going to give you a list of the um, help that you or your client can get. And so um, let's start with the first one, everybody is asking about the six month deferral on the mortgage. Now, as you can see on the screen, there is a lot of phone numbers there. Um, as a mortgage agent, I would suggest you just ask your client to give this phone number a call. You may want to pause this and, 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 and just copy down the phone number some of them has an email and this one is the is the website right because there are a lot of confusion there um, note that the six month deferral doesn't mean that you do not have to pay um, any interest any interest accrued is added on to the capital so it's interest on interest so your client end up paying extra interest uh, as I said in a previous um, video, uh, but I mean, honestly, if your client right now is in any restaurant related business or work in, um, say, uh, as a flight attendant or something like that, I would still take the six month deferral because honestly, you know, I am temporarily out of job. Now, also mind you that this six month deferral, you have to apply. What that means is it doesn't automatically give it to you. They can decline your application, okay? But I think if you are directly hit it by the COVID-19, then um, hopefully you are eligible for it. There are some criteria like, you know, previously you shouldn't have any late payment with the mortgage company or lender, uh, something like that. Um, but it's too much to talk. On that, just ask your client to give this for um, the the lender a call. This is a very exhaustive um, a list, and again, this list is not compiled by me. It's one of my good friend Darren Hazard for Mortgage Scout. For thanks for him um, for organizing all this phone number. Uh, this one, the Bank of Canada decrease overnight rate. Um, that's the third time in the in the last month or so so right now the prime is 2.45 um so but you know a lot of the bank are actually increasing the rate instead of decreasing so it doesn't mean too much uh, the only person that could benefit that is probably someone who already have a variable rate mortgage or line of credit as of now uh, okay so I'm going to briefly uh, talk about this also because this is changing every single day. Um, they're going to boost the childcare benefit. So you will see more money coming in. Uh, this emergency care benefit up to 900 by weekly. I think right now they change it to $2,000. So I'm going to talk about that after. Uh, homeless care program. Uh, tax filing is the extended um, uh, and deferred the tax. And this, I think, uh, is uh, thanks to E&E &E Professional Accountant for the summary. This is a phone number and a website to uh, get the uh, EI benefit. There's some auto loan deferral. And as of today, which is a April the 3rd, there is also um, the property tax. You can be defer a utility bill. You can defer uh, a lot of stuff are able to defer but you probably want to um, give them a call the next big thing that people are asking is that um, $2,000 per month 
So this is from 680 News. Um, so uh, it offered $2,000 per month, every week $500, uh, up to four months. Okay, um, and as you can see, it's available here and it's retroactive. Um, so you can apply if, and there's a whole list of things. Um, basically, uh, again, you can read these, uh, but if you are directly hit by COVID-19 or someone who is in your household who is hit by COVID-19 uh, and you cannot work because you have to stay home, uh, then probably you would be uh, okay with it. Um, now the criteria, uh, this is only available to those stop work due to reason related to that. And you must be reside in Canada at least 15 years old, social insurance number, stop working on this, um, or eligible for EI. Uh, income in 2019 must be uh, at least $5,000 um, and then you expect to be without employment income or self-employment income for 14 consecutive days. Uh, this is interesting because normally self-employed people don't get the EI. This one is different, okay? Um, and even if you're not permanent resident or citizen, you may be eligible to receive this. So this is also different. Okay, uh, again, the aim is government do not want you to worry about money and then go to work because you feel that you need to get paid because they want to stop the virus. That's the main reason. Okay, uh, what document you need? Uh, you do not need too much uh, for now, at least personal contact, social insurance, and you just need to confirm um, the eligibility, right? So you'll be asked to provide additional document to verify in a future day. So this one and with EI, as I just mentioned, there are a couple of things that is different. One of them is, you know, self employed and all that, and you can read it here. Okay, uh, it's a lot of things. And when should you apply? This is interesting. If you are born in, you know, this one, uh, this, then it's January, February, March, then is April 6th, uh, and this and that, and any month you can apply Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I think they want to, you know, um, they don't want everyone to apply on April 6th because then they, you know, their website will probably be down. And I still think that April 6th, it will be down every single day. There will be a lot of people applying for this. So, that's that. And lastly, a lot of my clients are business owner and they have heard about this emergency business account, which allow you to uh, apply, apply for a loan, interest-free loan for up to $40,000 for qualifying business. Again, this is applying, right? You don't automatically get it. And up to $10,000 of that would be eligible for forgiveness. So you will need to only repay $30,000, right? So um, this one is a government program. Uh, the When is it available? It is not yet available. Uh, it looks like it sh you should be able to uh, apply for it on April the 6th. Uh, every bank has their own policy to apply. Um, I do believe that you have to have the business account with that bank. So if your business account is with CIBC, then you go through them. If you, your business account is with Royal Bank, then you go through them. Okay, so uh, how long does it take? Uh, you know, it, it is upon receipt of your completed application. Um, $40,000 is interest free, one quarter of the loan can be eligible for forgiveness. Um, and then uh, how do you apply? Most of the bank that I have do the research is doing using online banking. So you must have online banking. Um, there's an annual, this one is important, okay? This one. 
So an annual payroll of between fifty thousand to one million dollars, based on two thousand nineteen T four summary of uh, remuneration remuneration pay. So if you have employees uh, and you pay them between fifty to a million dollars, then should be fine. Uh, CIBC is their primary bank, but you if your bank is you know bank account is with which bank, then you go to that bank account. Okay. Uh, and then there are some Q&A and all that. Uh, I do not want to go through it here um, because it's a lot of things and each bank is different. Uh, my suggestion is just either give them a call, go in, I don't even think you should go into the branch. Uh, just give them a call or go online and their online banking uh, probably websites have some more information. Okay, so uh, today is an update of some of the newer uh, program and policy to help uh, it amid of the um, COVID-19. I hope that you find this is useful. Um, also, uh, as I have uh, mentioned in my previous um, previous video that I have um, uh, published my first book, and also now it's not only ebook is actually paperback uh, paperback book as well the physical book so you can go to this um, website um, to to get it is on the bottom of my video and it's also going to be in my video this this link is to my paperback and my previous video the link is go to my ebook so i hope each and every one of you enjoy my book uh, each and every one of you, um, you know, if you need to, then you apply for the help from the government, from the bank, from, from a lot of different agency like utility uh, company, insurance company, everything. Um, and stay safe, stay healthy. Okay. And put into comments if you like my new format. Uh, you know, when I'm back into the office, I probably have my setup uh, with my video cam, everything again. Um, but you know, how do you like the layout? Uh, I'm going to constantly now trying to improve my video because uh, now I'm also staying at home and I have more time to um, uh, improve on my video quality. Okay, so I hope each and every one of you stay safe. Okay, thank you and stay, uh, I will see you next week.